Hi, what are the two types of sins that one can do? Most religious organizations only consider one of the two types of sin. The other types actually gets ignored. And if somebody encourages you to do obey that command, people say that's legalism. But watch this short video. It will help you avoid both of these sins. At the end, I will share about one sin most of us will have never thought about. I hope it will encourage you to obey God in this area too. So, there are two types of sins. The first types are the ones that you hear about in most churches. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't chew tobacco and don't date anyone who does. Of course, the Bible does talk about this. If we read the Ten Commandments, we'll see several commandments that start with, Thou shalt not. It's important to obey these commands, but you know that the commandments that tell you not to do something are actually easier to obey than the commandments that tell you what to do. Think about it. Imagine if you're in a big auditorium with about a thousand seats. If you are told not to sit on one seat, you'll have all of the other about 999 seats to sit on. Of course, this was like the temptation that Adam and Eve fell into. They could eat from all of the trees except one tree. The other type of sin relates to commandments that tell us to do something specific. Like I said, sometimes people consider that legalism if, if you try to discipline yourself to obey them. Jesus Christ told the believers to preach the gospel to everyone. Yet most believers never share the gospel or have never actually led anyone to Christ. As a matter of fact, about half of Christian millennials believe that it is actually wrong to share the gospel. In contrast to that, about half of non-Christians, according to a Barna study, say that they would be very open to talking with a Christian about their faith. Jesus told us that the fields are white for harvest. Think about it. How many times has anybody ever shared the gospel with you? So not sharing the gospel regularly is disobedience to what God wants us to do. This is just one example of disobedience that many Christians will not have any problem with. And if you talk with them about it, again, they'll worry about legalism. But James 4 verse 17 tells us, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doth it not, to him it is sin. There's a term for these types of sin. They're called the sin of omission. Now, here is a passage that many adult believers will never think about obeying. In Deuteronomy 6 verse 6, it tells us to store God's word, and specifically the book of Deuteronomy, into our hearts. The word for heart here is levav, which means our thoughts. Why are so few churches emphasizing memorizing the word of God? Actually, there are many passages in the scriptures that command us to do so. You would agree with me that if we don't obey that, this would be a sin, right? It's disobedience. Now, if you want to hear an easy way to obey memorizing God's word, you want to watch this short video. I'm more than happy to help anyone or any church in putting this into practice. We have many in our groups who have hundreds of verses, even whole books memorized. May God bless you. Bye-bye.